So welcome down the belly of the amphitheatre. You can see how amazing the cave is. These huge stalagmites formed by the water dripping above, they tend to take shape. Head of an eagle, a woman carrying a child, the howling thylacine, and the spirit faces coming out of the side of this formation here. Um, every time we come into the cave, we are reminded of the significance as well. The flowstone reminds of the forests, of the trunks of the trees and the tops. And we also found a few fossilised bone remains down in the cave here of animals that had fallen in. But every time we come in, I'd like to acknowledge the spirit of the place and share a song. So yeah, halfway in the main chamber. This is probably the second most spectacular part of the cave. And like I said, out of all the caves, this has the most stalactites. Don't know whose job it was to count them all. But uh, over here, some beautiful colouring coming through. Red oxide, some beautiful shawls, stalactites running down from the ceiling, and some amazing big columns. And over here, some distinctive watermarks. So this is a marmiti, we say Belga marmiticala, as a fire stick from the grass tree to light the fire. Two different sizes, same timber. Got some banksia flour, just crush it up, nice and fine. Don't have to use banksia flour. You can use red gum bark. You can use the bell, top of the belga flour as it breaks apart. Fire stick goes on top. Like pushing down, rubbing down. There we go. The beginning of your fire. Grab some twigs. Any dry leaves, twigs will do. Alright, so local word for fire is kala, and we lit the fire with a traditional fire stick, which is one of the oldest fire lighting techniques in the world, and throughout Australia it's very different traditional fire lighting, but this is a local technique using the flowers from the grass tree. Once you get the fire going, you can crush different resins, heat them up, shape different timbers, and create traditional tools. Basic hunting gathering tools here, families carried with them. For generations through country. And one thing about all Aboriginal people right throughout Australia, even though the language, the characteristics, the climate, the vegetation is different, the hunting techniques were similar. All Aboriginal people have some form of boomerang and spear throwers, no bow and arrows. As an extension of your arm, allows you to throw further, faster.